Welcome to WWP Clips. This is the official Clips channel for We Want Picks. We will be uploading our individual fight breakdown videos here. So make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our content. And as always, go to wewantpicks.com slash bets. Sign up with any one of our five betting partners. Make a deposit and we send you 50 bucks as a thank you. Next up. At UFC Long Island, we have a Punahil Soriano taking on Dalcha Lungambula. And I'm positive I'm pronouncing Punahil's name wrong because I had all sorts of comments with it. It's a Punahele. I'm not doing Punahele. that. Punahil. Punahil Soriano, 8-2 and two overall, 3-2 and two in his Punani. last five. And he is riding a two-fight law streak. Jesus, dude. Dalcha Lungambula, 11-4 overall, 2-3 and three in Listen, his last five. Whatever. I'm, I, 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 11 and 0. I do what I want this week. He's coming off that submission loss to Cody Brundage. Punahil Soriano is a fluid striker who has a ton of power and can put most people out on their feet. He was a D3 All-American wrestler, and he does have four takedowns in the UFC, but that includes three in one fight against Jamie Pickett in his Contender Series win. He's coming off that loss to Nick Maximov, where his striking was on point, but he was taken down. An incredible 11 times. So Punahil is a very dangerous striker, but he can be first round or bust. Dolce Lungambula is a short powerhouse who's fast and dangerous. He comes forward with insane power and pressure. He can also grapple when needed. We saw his grappling in his fight against Marc-Andre Barrault, where he had two takedowns, and in his UFC debut against Daquan Townsend, where he had four takedowns before an eventual KO. We also saw it in his last fight, though, against Cody Brundage, where he was dominating, probably going to get a stoppage, and then he just decided to take a poorly timed shot, and he was caught in a guillotine. Bad decision-making cost him that fight. Punahil's a 2-1 to one favorite, and he's flexing. He's now minus 240. Uh, in this fight, I am surprised. Both of these guys are very dangerous striking, and I know Puna is a D3 All-American wrestler, but he doesn't use it. He doesn't use it very often at all. And now we know his takedown defense is not very good at all. Dolce looked great in his last fight. He moved to Sanford MMA for that camp and he made improvements. He has such insane power that it just looks like every little strike does damage. Even little pot shots while defending takedowns look like they hurt people and just force people to let go of whatever they're doing. So, man, I might be heading down the wrong path here, but I like Dolce in this fight. I think he has more power, better takedown defense. I think he can keep his power longer in the fight, second round, third round. I've got a half of a unit, only a half a unit money line bet. I'm probably going to jump on the Dolce Lungambula wins inside the distance decision, no action bet. Because if Punahil's not putting you on the first round, he's not putting you out. And I think that might be a solid bet here. I don't know what the odds are. I'll have to check that out. Um... If you want a bet like that, a cushion bet, if it goes to a decision, you get your money back. If Dolce wins by KO or TKO, you get paid. Bet Online is the only partner of ours that has that bet. So go to wewantpicks.com slash bets. Sign up, make a deposit. We'll send you 50 bucks, and it's Bet Online that offers the inside the distance decision. No action. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Too many underdogs on this card? No, you know, I don't I don't hate the, the value play for that, right? I, I'm not going to pick Dolce as a pick. But as far as value goes, I think Soriano being anything more than a two to one is just insane uh, for this matchup because Dolce does have real, real power, and this is probably going to be a striking matchup. Yeah, I see these odds that you know, I think Soriano probably should be the favorite, but this is like a minus 130, minus 150, something like that. So anything you know worse than that, you know, I, I don't mind the value for Dolce. As far as inside the distance decisional action, I could see that as well. The thing that would worry me on that bet, bet is more of like the like an exhaustion TKO that Soriano would kind of like just kind of overwhelm him late second into the third, and there's a, like a, you know up against a fence, like not necessarily put away, but the ref stops it because he's tired because that's why he shot that takedown versus Cody Brunnage. Right, he was just laying into him, laying into him, big shots, big shots, couldn't put him away. So he thought, you know what? Let me take him down. I'm, I'm an experienced wrestler. He's actually like a world wrestling grappling champion. He's like a he was like on the judo national team, so he's very well versed in all mixed martial arts along with the power. And I think he thought, let me take him down, get my breath, and then we'll go back at and try to get the finish. And just kind of got caught um, in that exchange, but he really was beating the shit out of Cody. If you're sorry out on this matchup, I think the odds are crazy. You got to respect the power from Dolce. Soriano is one of those guys that really kind of likes to throw power. 
And in this matchup, to beat Dolce, I think you just got to touch him, right? I think you just got to touch him, kickbox him, point him, touch him, wait for, him to, for that power to fade out of the first round, right? The, the, the big muscles start filling up with blood. He's throwing, you know, more looping shots. And then you can start laying in a little bit more power shots. But if Soriano comes in in this first round after back-to-back -back losses and, and tries to knock out this guy... I mean, he could find himself in some big, big trouble. So, you know, my pick is going to be Soriano for this matchup. I think he can be more technical than Dolce and win that way. But this is a dangerous fight for him. And if he just comes in and thinks he's going to knock out Dolce, he could find another thing coming because Dolce's got other tricks in his bag as well. Like I mentioned, the judo, the wrestling, the grappling. Uh, maybe he goes to that in this matchup and is able to dominate Soriano. So I don't I don't disagree with you, with your, your value play in the bet for Dolce. My pick is going to be Soriano because I think he's just a little bit better in the striking. But... It's a dangerous play for Soriano, man. It's a, a dangerous, dangerous fight. Yeah, and let's not forget that Brendan Allen outstruck Soriano. Outstruck. Yeah, and I watched. Yeah, and I wa Yeah, I watched that fight, and, and obviously Soriano had the power. Was you know would lay into Brendan Allen. And you could see the power there, but absolutely was outstruck by Brendan Allen in that matchup. Yeah, and like he obviously has power, but Sam Alvey dropped Brendan Allen. Dropped him. Poon Heel didn't. So, you know, and I'm not, I'm not taking anything away from him. I'm just putting in perspective that while on paper, Puna Heels, he's probably the better striker. He's definitely the better wrestler. He doesn't really use the wrestling, and he's first round or bust with his striking. Uh, $5 super chat. I'm going to read it before I say it out loud. Here we go. $5 super chat. Put this towards a bet against Jacob. He needs to be humble. You want to bet on this one? Um, we usually do more than no. $5, though. Okay. I think he's just betting against you in life. And, okay. you know, frankly, you already lost that bet. Stand up. Show everybody how short you are. Well, I could, but. Nope. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, $9,200. Do you think Puna Heel's that big of a favorite here? Hell no. Yeah, that's the problem. And this is a tough week with DraftKings. $9,200. He's one of the biggest favorites on the entire card. This is a tricky card. Yes, Red in the back. Uh, go ahead. He's gone. He's gone again. Uh, I, I'm just going to move on. Okay, I'm moving on. I thought you, what you called on, so hey. I, didn't, I didn't hear you said. No, I, uh, Dolce's in my lineup, just so you know. I think it's uh, okay. you know, I think it's decent value. Yeah. Um, Monkey Knife Fight Strike Line, 55 to 49. Yo, listen, if there's legit power and somebody gets put out, then it's going to be a big less less. I do think there's some touching here. I think it goes a little longer, probably second round, maybe even third. Uh, it's it might be more and more with this monkey knife fight strike line. But is this a one and a half or a two and a half round fight? Let me look for you real quick. It is a one and a half. You can get the over one and a half for minus one sixty, or you can get the under one and a half for plus one thirty. Oh God, the wall of shame voice. I think it's um I, I, I like the over one and a half. That's a solid bet. I think this does go. Uh although Puna Heel and Dolce both have nasty power. If you guys want to check out Monkey Knife Fight, they also have prop games. It's not just guessing the strike line. They also have a game called Knockout Kings. And if any you can pick any three fighters, and if one of them wins by KO or TKO, you get paid two wins, you get paid even more. You could potentially double this up. You may get a knockout in this fight. Yeah, what do you want? What do you want? Uh, you said inside the distance decision of action for Dolce? Yes. Is that, what you, is that your bet? Plus 215. I didn't bet it yet. Plus 215. Okay. There Ooh. That gets you juicy, excited. Juicy, juicy. So, That'll put some yeah. hair on your balls. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay seated for that. So I may jump on that as well. Guys, we have a free Discord. It's 100% free. There is a link in the description. Join the free Discord. Share your picks. Share your bets. You guys want to like call us names when you disagree with a pick? I don't give a shit. Do that. 